We have Pastor Destiny on Nehui from Church of God Mission. Pastor Usiadaye Ewusa, Kingdom Power Alive. Etiosa, God bless you, sir. Etiosa. Hallelujah. We have Reverend Mrs. Mary Ogbewi, New Jerusalem Church. Hallelujah. We have Apostle Femi Asala and his wife. God's own ministry. Praise Master Jesus. And all the hazards and dickens in the house, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. I will not forget to welcome the choir who is going to add color to this wonderful ceremony. I say, may God bless you all in Jesus' name. So I'm going to call the this choir first, the Sensivio Choir, to give us their special number. Are they ready? Okay. It's not Sensivio. Hallelujah. Okay, women. I got the message now. It is the women where our mommy belongs. Amen. So let's welcome the women choir to add to this great ceremony. Put your hands together for the women choir as they give us their special number. Osa so ge na mo sa gbo fo ori o wi ketin Osa so ge na mo sa gbo fo Oya he gwe be gwa sa ori o wi ketin Osa so ge na mo sa gbo fo I 
Christ, Miracle Church of God, women, I say thank you for that special song for our beloved mother. So while they were doing that, the year last baby also walked in. So Jeremy, welcome, Sister Osaiti. Hallelujah. So we are still expecting our daughter, who's also a daughter, Sister Mata. As she comes, we also give her recognition. Praise Master Jesus. Our God is good. So before we call the host choir to give us their very special number, but I want to take some tribute. I want to take tribute from the house. For ye, let's take some tribute from the house in honor for ye. Why ye was alive, what you know her for. Hallelujah. Any tribute from the house? Okay. So let's welcome Pastor Bewi as she gives tribute to our beloved mother. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I thank God for my mother that the life he has lived. He lived a precious life and he lived a good life. In God. This mother is the one that draw me nearer to God. Obera manaten, obiye manaveten. So, ikaka bokpon wo salo bwa, jedak mwen. No mana la hien, ugo sare, oke se du fome wena. Ona go sa su fome. A wè ti me ki an biye, ok pa ikbe, awe, pa ikbe, pa ikbe, pa ikbe, pa ikbe, u biye, ya le nou. So, u jogo salo bwa, ikpon wo ke. Salo bwa nor yor yon en, jen yon yon foun reke. Ije nan se ye, ije nan lo bon, o bon an le kwe ki ki an. Ije no ege no hame ya kbo mo. Ije no ege no hame ya kbo ya so mo. Ika bo kbo mo salobwa ya da kbo ye. Ime huwa kba ni ya so. I huwa ni nari ye ma we. Ok ya o. Ok ya o. Ok ya o. Ok ya o. E yim yon fun vekbe ni ye me nari ye. Ok ya o. Ok ya o. What she said, Iye was the one that led her to Christ. Today, she's a pastor in the Veya. Hallelujah. Now, a lot. Amen. Any other person? Okay. Let's welcome Apostle. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord. 
I grew up as a child to meet my senior sister. Was the first person. To, we were sleeping on a mud bed. That bed that they used to mud with uh, mud. But while I was young, she bought iron bed and mattress for my mother. She was so good to us. As we began to grow, no body. We didn't see anybody like her. Until that time, I was away from the Lord. Something happened. That was when I came to her and her husband. They were the last hope that I had. I spent five years with them. God brought me back to life. Oh. As I speak, as you can see now, I'm a man. I'm a man, yeah. In my family today, wherever as large as my family from Ube, there has been nobody like Iye. As I sit stand, I look front, I look back, there is still nobody inside like Iye. We have lost a great gen. But the solace is that we have to emulate our footsteps. Iye, we will see. Hallelujah. <laughs> I pick one word. He said, Iye was uh, his last hope. You want to say something? Okay. I will come to you. His last hope in life. Praise the Lord. Osa Semege, Osa Ekbofo, is a mother indeed. I knew her about 31 years ago, even before I joined Christ Michael Church as a member. She has already come into our house to come and share the word of God with me. But then, I always follow my late sister to do the harvest. She will say, why not come and join us to be a member? We love you. God love you. With those words of encouragement, one day I told my husband, let, us, let me follow this woman to her church. He said, because she's an advanced woman, I will allow you to go with her. I started coming to him. When I lost my mother-in-law in 1998, before I got to a home, he was already there. My husband called me. Who invited Iye? I said, I wasn't the one that invited her, but I met her here. She labored throughout the night. It was then I know that she was a cow you know, seller. She joined the busher to busher those cows for the night. Even the one they were hiding, she brought it out from inside the place they were hiding it. Ever since. In short, I tried to emulate her. I'm still trying to. Because I knew I, what you normally say, my Lord. My Lord. What is my Lord? It's called the husband, my Lord. She is the one that taught me that word. May her gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Inye, we will keep on remembering you with the good words you did for us in Christ Miracle Church as a mission. May your soul rest in perfect peace. In Jesus. So let's take this last one. I pay this tribute to my mother, Iye no Gye. Also know as Iye Charlie. You were a mother who constantly performed good deeds. You were. You were not only my mother, but also my dance partner and a disciplinarian to my, in my life. You can be compared to the biblical figure, Dorcas, known for your charitable art. As Proverbs 10, 7 said, the memory of the righteous is blessed, while the wicked are soon forgotten. I will always cherish and remember everything you have done for me. Rest peacefully in the embrace of the Lord until we meet again in the morning of resurrection. Goodbye, my Ieno. Hallelujah. So it will not be complete if I didn't see my own. I'll be so. Last two weeks or three weeks there about we were in a meeting at the headquarters. One, okay. 
Please, let's give that man this opportunity. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. I thank God I'm here today. And I want to appreciate my mother, my pastor, and my everything. I thank God the way Iye brought me up. Although she was not my biological mother, then she knew me to know how to live life. If not the grace of Iye in my life, I don't know what I would have been today. Every morning, he come to our house and pray for us and teach us the right way to follow in life. He's always say, train up a child the way he should grow. And every day, he called me, he said, day, he that knows how to do good and dwell it not, or to him is a sin. That thing has become my memory verse. I meditate on it day and night because I grew up in a bad atmosphere. If not the grace of I in my life, I don't know what would happen. She do everything. Every morning I must eat before I go to school. And when I come back from school, I will come and eat. He say, eat, eat. Everything is not fasting. Eat the work of God. I just want to thank God today. She see me. I'm not seeing her. So God be glory. I appreciate her. Praise the living God. She remember all the care, all the feeding while he was going to school, while he was attending school those days back. Hallelujah. Just as I said, three weeks ago, we were in the headquarters church holding a meeting. One of our hey, teachers said, In the microphone. Why is uh-huh. it that? Hello, hello. One, two. Even in our church now, some people don't cover hair. And the first thing is that he makes reference to Iye. He said, you will always have an extra, extra extra in a bag. I said, my daughter, cover your hair. You are in the house of God. Uh-huh. He uh-huh. was a disciplinarian. Uh-huh. A disciplinarian. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I Praise Master Jesus. So I was looking at this again. This man was embodiment of Christ. Embodiment of Christ. He was a disciplinarian. If anything happened, whether good or bad, before you know it, EJ is already there. I will go and confront her and say, EJ, you are disgracing us. Why are you the first? There are other people to do this job. Because I will share tears. He said, I will share tears. Just what my mother have just said. Before the people could get to their village, he was already there. He will spearhead everything, do all the work, both the labor work, the everything. Hallelujah. So I look at that. That's okay. This woman was an embodiment of Christ. That was the exactly what Christ did in Mark 11, 15 to 17, when Jesus saw those people doing business in the house of God. See, this rubbish will not take it. He is a woman with passion that loves everybody. 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 My cousin brother will say, if you allow here to come to your house, you will not sleep. Everyday prayer. They are room. Let's just pray. Even while you are sleeping, he is still praying. Hallelujah. He's a prayer bulldozer. Prayer bulldozer. Because oh yeah. Get the room, get the room. Get the room. Under her tutelage, how to care. How to be brother's keeper. Because you need your money. But you want to do it unto God. At a point. I was calling her Rainmaker. Yeah, we say, as we are doing this program, before you come here, yeah, we yeah, say, I will come and pray that rain will not disturb. Even in August, you yeah, will pray, rain will not stop. Rain will not, rain will not come. Prayer Buddhism. Prayer, prayer warriors. So many will say, let us continue. It may take the old day. It may take the old day. But I am glad I was also privileged to learn under her tutelage. There are so many things that I learned from her. That today, 
is a part of me and I'm using it. And I pray that I have no doubt she's already in heaven. She lived that life. A well-lived life. Hallelujah. So let's put our hands together for a year for honoring her. Put your hands together. Praise Master Jesus. So I'm not going to take much time before we depart this all. We just want to hear a few exhortations from the word of God. Thereafter, we will exit the hall. Amen. He is an embodiment of Christ. So many things to say about her. So many. Praise the living God. Praise Master Jesus. Okay. So without wasting time, we want to hear from the God's table. Join me with the clap of free. So, join me as we welcome the resident pastor, Pastor Ken Oriaki, as he gives us the message for the moment. Praise the Lord. If you are clapping, you can clap, you can do better than that. Amen. On behalf of our little Monda family, Dickiness, Mrs. Rebecca Usai Bobo. I would like to welcome you to have gathered here this morning, today. Praise the Lord. I want us to understand that all of us are here on a journey which we must arrive one day. Whether we clock 80, 100, as the grace may be permitted to each and every one. But it is certain that one day we are going to leave this world. I am sure that the family recognizes the presence of everyone that are gathered here this morning to come and show love Love is not in word. It's in art and kind. As we can see it in First John chapter 3, verse 17 to 19. We all gather here to show love to the family. As we pray, let's bow our head. Our Father, we thank you this morning for the privilege to see this day. We are all gathered here together with the family of our late mother, Dickness Usai Bovo, whom please you to call who. Father, we pray that your countenance will shine upon our life. And as, as many who are gathered here this morning, we pray that on the day of our departure, we come to where you are. We will not miss it in Jesus' name. Thank you because we know you've answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Quickly, I want to sing this song. To remind us that we came here to treat. And after we finish, we are going to return home. E ki ma do do wa gbona e ma mario wa u gbo ma do gbe wa gbona e ma mario wa o a gbona tu do wa e e ma mario wa a gbona tu do wa e e ma mario wa Aga yo pastor, aga yo teacher, ewa ma yo wa o. 
Hagayo Eva Mayua Hagayo Iwe Kimato Tobak Mona Eva Mayua Ukumato Bevak Mona Eva Mayua Agbona to do by Eva Mayua Agbona to do by Eva Mayua Aga yo apostle, Aga yo bishop, Aga yo reverend, Aga yo doctor, Wema Mayua, Aga yo Wema Mayua. This morning, I'm taking my text from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. The sanctity of death. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Please, I want somebody to help me to read because of time. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27. Hebrew 9 27. Rahiri, where are you? Read for me. Where is the other mic? As it is appointed unto men once to die. But after death is what? Judgment. Judgment. No man can escape death. No matter how holy you may be. My late general of your blessed memory. Always say it. No matter how holy you may be, no matter how righteous you may be, no matter how good you may be, where will you spend eternity? That is what is important. Our mother have Turn apart. She have raised children, raised grandchildren, raised great grandchildren, raised spiritual sons and daughters. And she answered the call. And we are saying good things of what she did to affect life. What about we that is sitting here? What are we doing to lift somebody? From where the person has been. Our sister is with her maker. Pastor, why are you are you there? Yes. For me. Death is certain. The certainty of death. We may not know when it will come. We may not know how it will come. But death. Just the way our shadow is following us, that is how we are moving. That is following us. But I pray that everyone seated here this morning, we will not die below the age of our mother. Amen. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 5. For the living understand that one day they are going to die. But the dead cannot think of anything again. He have gave up the ghost. He returning to the maker. And he has gone to rest with the Lord. Life is not about the numbers of houses you built. It's not about the, the the certificate you acquire. It's not about the car you drove. It's not about the words that you acquire. Or the money you make. A time like this, 
we must realize that only three things that will last forever, only three that will last forever. Three things that will last forever. Number one, God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God is seeing God to tomorrow. The three things that will last forever. Can I tell us something? In the next hundred years from today, or 80 years, some of us, the places you built your house, somebody else would have taken over it. Two of us. If you don't agree with me, I have evidence to tell you. There are people, they built, that they labor to build their house where they were alive. But today, why they are passed on 10 years later, the children pray that that place is too expensive for the father to remain. They will assume the cup who are dumping in the village and sell that place. But why that man was alive, he didn't show kindness to other people. He was only concerned about his own. But today, that place he called his own, after his departure, is no more his own. Somebody has taken over from it. Three things that will remain forever. Number one is God. Number one is the word of God. When somebody is alive, say something they will use to remain. Word don't die. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are words and they are life. Words remain. My mother say, my Gio say, Gio is no more, but what is he has said is still going on. I pray every prayer that our mommy pray for the children and everyone around them before she pass on that prayer will work for you forever not only for a season till your good old age the war then number three people's soul people's what? soul Everyone must give account of to his whatever you have done. You must give account. We must do what? We must give account. The question now is this: what is your hope if you leave this world? The same God you rejected while you were alive. You don't want to serve God. But when you die, where are you going? Who are you going to meet? Revelation chapter 14 verse 13. Quickly, let's read that please. Revelation chapter 13. Revelation 14, 13. Go ahead. Then I heard further. Write this. Blessed. Please, I need King James. And I heard a voice from heaven. Then I heard a voice from heaven. Saying unto me. Saying unto me. Right. Right. Blessed are the dead. Blessed are the dead. Who died in the Lord. Who died. Hold on. Who but, died in the Lord. From his fall. Hold on. Blessed are those who die where? In the Lord. Not who die into the river. You can die through the river. And yet you won't make heaven. Blessed are those who died in the Lord. What is the result? Go ahead. In the Lord. For henceforth. From henceforth. Yes, hear the Spirit. The Lord has said, the Spirit has said. That they may rest from their labors. They will rest from their labors. Labor. And, and then I will. So long you remain on this earth, you will continue to think. A do who a yo for the day we die is the day we take rest. All those temporary rest that will not be rest. There is a permanent rest, and that one is the one the Lord is going to give to. in John chapter 14, verse from verse 1. Quickly, 
We are here this morning. Think about your life. Jesus said something in the book of Luke. When they were persecuting him. And they were beating him. And the women were weeping, wailing. And he turned and looked at them. He said, don't weep for me. Weep for yourself. If they do this to the, to the green tree, what about the dry one? Think about your life. The dead have gone. We that is alive. That is important. Yes. John chapter 14. From verse 1. From verse 1. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart. Talking to our, our mother's children. The relations. Don't let your heart be troubled. Think about yourself. Mommy have done his part. And she have gone. The one, the senior. What are you going to do after this meeting? Are you going to abandon the remaining one? The children that they left for you people. There are younger ones. You now put yourself in position to make sure the family is united. To speak one voice in the love and the unity of our mommy have led behind. That is the only way we are going to leave legacy for her. It's not the numbers of drinks or food. No. By keeping her values that she believed, she knows God. And we must hold on. And she served the Lord till the day she died. I pray we will serve God till the day we leave this earth. Amen. We will not serve the devil. Amen. Just go ahead quickly. Yet believe in God. And believe in God. Him. Yes. In my father's house. In I'm my father's master. house. Are many there are many mansions. If it were not so, if you were not so, I would have told you. I would have told you so. I go to prepare a place for you. I'm going to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place if for I you, if I go, I will come again. I will come again and receive unto myself. Yes, that where I am, there ye may be also. Okay. For, and whether I go, it, ye know. And it's okay. God bless you, sir. Mm. Beloved. Life is hard. Today we know what is happening. We struggle with pain. It doesn't matter the, the way we die. It doesn't matter. But what is important is the way you die. Do you die in the Lord? Blessed are they that died in Christ. You will have part in the resurrection. What if you don't die in Christ? What will be your gain? As you may, you feel that what we are telling you this morning is not true. As you may. How many of us, when we were coming to this earth, when they gave birth to us, we wore clothes. How many of you? When your mama born you, you put on clothes. Or even pants, you wear them. Raise up your hand. Okay, how many of you, one dollar or naira, you will excuse them, hold them for hand. When you desire your money, when they burn you, they can't see money for your hand. How many persons, they were born like that? Nobody. Assume me, you were to carry something while you were in your mother's womb. You know the meaning of disease? <laughs> you are not exist. When we... We lost when our geo passed on. When we visited the mortuary, we saw men and women lying down. No bra, no pint, nothing. Nobody say I'm a giant. You that beat your church, that you know whom I am. You are dust and ashes. You are nothing. Humble yourself. Nobody recover anything again. Both rich, the poor. The educated, they are lying down. For the past 10 years, nobody turned them. They don't feel pain. Please, whatever you, you are here this morning, is an opportunity to have issue with people. Reconcile. If you die in that condition, only God knows what will happen. Life is short. I don't work in an all who as all of us are celebrating the, the passage of our mother maybe before the end of this year nobody know who will go next nobody know 
On the last day, we are going to see those who are joking with the gospel. Don't mind those pastors. Please focus on God. And you will see the benefits. And when you die, the Lord will accept you. I said the Lord will accept you. We are here. We feel pain. Sometimes things happen that we don't even fully know. There is good news to Jesus' death. We have eternal life. On the cross, Jesus said it is finished. And thank God this burial coincided with Easter. And it was there Jesus said it is finished. It is what? Finished. It is finished. Revelation 21, as I close. Revelation 21, 27. Revelation 21, 3 and 4. Quickly. Go ahead. There shall be no wise enter therein. You are here. Your hand is not clean. You will not enter the kingdom. You have witchcraft, you can't enter. You tell lies against your neighbor to get to get favor. Church members, you tell lies to pastor to condemn another church member. You don't have, you are not partaker of the kingdom. When your, your name is written in the book of life, go to verse 3 of that same chapter. Saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men. May God be with you this day. Our mother is the Christ. You don't belong to the devil. When you close your eye here, I pray for you, none of all will miss the mark. You are not saying amen. You say, the, the, the doctor from Sakati Hospital, if you are concentrating, you build the first house, it's not enough. You build the second house, and there are people in your family that is suffering. You may not enjoy those buildings before you die. And people are dying, and your children will sell it. What a kind of miserable life. We allow people around us to see. Verse 4. Everyone that is crying, pay away your tears. Whether you are crying sick tears or what kind of tears, God will wipe away your tears. I said the Lord will wipe away your tears. The Lord will wipe away our tears. In the name of Jesus. Yes. No more dead. No that sorrow. No crying. No more pain. The person after death, we can't say kissing down. Bagada. You know, go say, Ele Bokba. Ele Bokba. Emi Yakba. I say, Ya. Naked I came. Naked will go. Stand to your feet. Oh, 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 on the cross Jesus said it is finished your sickness is finished Amen. your pain it is finished Amen. if it is not possible he would have died on the cross Eve or Wofo for me our mother will not cry again he will not feel pain again he will not complain again. He will not say again, my, my daughter never eat. My grandpa can never eat. Jesus waffle. Amen. He's a safe home. Who on a camera? He's a safe home. You're a young, on a gonna ya, on a way, I'm so full. 
relationship with God. And you were there before and you deviated. And you want to rededicate yourself so that when you die tomorrow you will not go to Satan. Come to my right hand side. You read it in John chapter 14. Jesus told us he's building a place. I hope it's not there. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. Oh, may a man of God in the house, they want to pray for you. Please, if you know genuinely you are not saved, you are not committed to this kingdom work, please come, we want to pray for you. Just a minute. Come. It's an opportunity. It will be on record that the day we bury our mommy Jew, that was the day you gave your life to Christ. It will be a remembrance for you, a, a date that you will never forget. You are there. I want you to come. Quickly. I want you to come. I want you to go. Let's pray. I want to call on our pastor to round up this prayer. In Jesus' name, thank you for your word that I have come as a living spirit for us. May these words quicken our mortal body now. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah God Almighty, sow these words by your spirit into our heart, soul, spirit, and body. And yet of it all, when the roll call will be called, we will be there. Father in heaven, thank you for your word that I have come. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Jam those hands together for Jesus. Please sit down. Hallelujah. I just want to let you know that there is a life after year. Death is not a punishment. Death is not a cause. It's a break. The Bible says, on that last day, both the good and the bad will resurrect. Judgment will start. It will say, person, you don't die. If you do evil, you die. Say everything don't end for that. It means Christianity is fake. You get my point? It means Christianity is fake. Death will not be the end of life. There is a life after year. Now, after death, the judgment will start. Who will they tarnish punishment? Who will they real life they enjoy? So change your mindset. To say, oh, if you don't die, everything don't end. Not the end. There is a life. After year. So 
We don't pray, say, if you die, may God punish and make you die. Mm -mm. It's not a punishment, it's not a cause. It's a break. All of us will certainly have that break. But after this one, that is where the power, that is where the case is. So, we, we are about living here now. Please, we are going to go in this order. When they pee the cops, the cops will be at the front, followed by the children. Before every other person will follow. Hallelujah. Nobody should go out. We are going to go in that order. Amen. So we are going to we will call the undertaker to be at a lot. So while we are taking this in, that is where the cops will move. So please, we want to also announce to you by 2.30 thereabouts, the service of song will start. So I will not going to take much of your time. By 2.30 thereabouts, the service of song we start. So, when the cop lives here, we take her to the father. So, before we take our exit, let's put our hands in our pockets. Let's appreciate God for this service, for this month in honor of our beloved mother. Put your hands in your pocket. Let's give our offering. Offering time. Shall we rise? As we the Shall we arise? Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you. You have given us seed to sow. We have given. We are trusting, O oh God, according to your word. It's coming back. Good measure. Press down. Shake it together. We'll go forth with this truth. The Lord, our days will not be few. We decree it so in the name of Jesus. Your son have declared the least among us when you are done with us here will be 80 
that will be our portion. No one will die before it's time. By virtue of us being under this grace, this morning, this afternoon, we'll live here with this understanding and this truth that, Papa, you will sustain us the remaining days of our lives. Every day shall be glorious days because we have given in the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' name we pray. As I've said, we will, we will take the last prayer now. While the hymn is going on, they will pick the cups, followed by the children, before that person will follow. Hallelujah. So we ask Pastor Etiosas to close the service. God bless you, sir. Praise the name of the Lord. And we lift up our hands and say, Father, we thank you, Lord, for this service. We bless you now, Lord God. Just as you have been with us in this service by two o'clock as we come together. Father, Lord God, you will do more than that in Jesus' name. Thank you, my Heavenly Father, for the atmosphere, for what is actually going on right now, peaceful communications. We bless your name, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace. God bless you. So we are going to take him one one, one one four, one one one, four one one, four one one.
What's on my excuse, I beg?
For Jesus, Amen. put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we arise as we declare this service open now? Shall we arise? We invite the man of God, the Bishop of Ubi, Pastor. <laughs> oh, Sayyemir, please come forward. Come and declare this program open now. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the man of God as we walk majestically. Hallelujah. You are welcome, sir. Amen. In Jesus' name. A Father, to you be all the glory, all the praise, all the honor, and worship. You are a good God. There is none like thee. You are beautiful in all situations. The joy of the world. We thank you for everything you have done. For whom you are. For your grace upon our lives. We thank you because this is the meeting of life, not of death. We thank you because what you want to do is what you are doing. Your name is glorified. Lord, you are our God. And we say thank you. We declare this meeting open in Jesus' name. Thank you, blessed Father. Because everything is working for your good. The human being, the environment, everybody, by the grace of God, is working for your good. Thank you because you will favor your righteous cause. In the name of the Father in the name of the Son, and in the, name, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Shall we say a better amen? Hallelujah. Please take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Please, we want to quickly go through some of the tradition. As we have said, everyone is important here. We may not have the opportunity to call each and every one name, but the few names I want to call, never mind. 
so that when you get to meet them outside, you acknowledge them. the Lord. Without wasting time, I want to recognize the children of our late mommy. Before I go to the ministers, the family of the children of Dickiness, Rebecca Osaigovo, we have the the other son, the King Charles. Is there? Please, can we celebrate him? We have our our Gio, the second son, Reverend Doctor David Usai Bobo, and the wife. We have next to him. And uh, Moses, Usai Bovo, and the wife. We have Mrs. Ajayi, Manta, and the husband. They are seated together. We have Mrs. Glory, Imaswe. Please, if you are clapping, you can clap very well. You can do better than that. We have pharmacists. Miracle, Usai Bovo. And I will not fail to mention our sister, Mrs. Usai Bovo, the first granddaughter, and the husband, they are here. God bless you. I have on the list of the ministers in the house, join me in to recognize our pastor, Pastor Engineer Pule Igodala. We have our pastor, Pastor Loki Ekbenende. We have Pastor Riaki Oxo in the house. We have Pastor Dan in the house. We have Pastor Charles from Gospel Ministers Forum. Can we celebrate him? We have Apostle Dr. I.K. Erunse. Can we celebrate him? From Holy Living Grace Chapel. We have Pastor Saiki Isibo from Gospel Ministers Forum. Can we celebrate them? We have Reverend Dr. Tony Irikefe. We have Pastor Destiny from Church of God Mission.
invite our son and uh, Moses to come and take the first reading. And uh, Moses said to give us, where are you? All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our book reading is taken from the book of First Thessalonians, chapter four, from thirteen to eighteen. But I would not have to be ignorant, brethren, concerning which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even then also which, are, which sleep in Jesus we not bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a loud shout, with the voice 
trump of God and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then which, then which, then we which are alive and remain shall caught up together with him, with them in the cloud. To meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. We have for comfort one another with these words. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So we we'll move to the next hymn. Hymn number two. Oh God, our help in ages past. Shall we arise as we take this hymn? Oh God, our help in ages past. Amen. living God. Please, we are taking the second Bible ready. We'll be taken by Mrs. Mata Ajayi. Please, shall put hands together as we come to the podium. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our second Bible reading is taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 20, from verse 1 to 6. And it read thus. And I saw an angel coming down out of heaven, having the key to the ambis, and holding in its hand a great chain. He sees the dragon, the ancient serpent, who is the devil, or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. 
He threw him into the abyss and locked and sealed it over him to keep him from deceiving the nations anymore until the thousand years were ended. After that, he must be set free for a short time. I saw thrones on which were seated those who had been given authority to judge. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded because of their testimony about Jesus and because of the word of God. And they had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy are those who share in the first resurrection. The second dead has no power over them. But they will be priests of God and of Christ and will reign with him for a thousand years. May the Lord bless the reading of his word into our hearts in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. We move on to hymn number three. Fading away like the stars of the morning. Over to you, Corista.
Thank you for good singing. We want to call our sister to take the third reading. Mrs. Glory Imasuen to take the third reading. Please let put her hands together while she take the mic. Please keep on clapping till she take the mic. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praising the Lord. Hallelujah. My fourth reading is taken from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 11. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write, I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that, that, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light, and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us wash and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For God has not appointed us to rot, but to obtain salvation by God our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we sh should live together with him verse 11 the last verse therefore comfort yourself together and edify one another even as also ye do this is the words of the Lord thanks be to God hallelujah Hallelujah. Once again, I want to say welcome every one of us that have come here to give honor to whom honor is due by honoring our beloved mother, Dickiness Rebecca Usasogi Usagbavu as it transits to the other world. I say, May God bless you all in Jesus' name. Please, we want to take the hymn number four. Hymn number four. When the roll call is called up yonder. When the roll call is called up yonder. Shall we arise as we take this in together? Shall we arise?
Your seats as we invite mommy's pet, the last baby, baby pharmacist, or sighting or sight bubble to take the fourth reading. Shall we put hands together? Wow. Praise the Lord house. Praise the Lord children of God. Um, with great humility in my heart, I having this word of God to say to our ears this afternoon from the book of, first, of John chapter 14 from verse 1 to 11. Do not let your heart be troubled distressed or agitated. Believe in, adhere, trust, and rely on God. And also believe, adhere, trust, and rely on me. For in my father's house are many mansions, a dwelling place, called home. If it were not so, I would have told you that I am going away to prepare a place for you. Verse 3. And when I go and make ready a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself that where I am, you may also be and dwell. And to the place where I am going, you know the way. Then said Thomas unto him and, and said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus said unto Thomas, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me and have learned 
to recognize me. You will also have known my father. From now on, you know me. And you have seen my father. Then Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the father. Cause us to see the father. That is all we ask. Then we shall be satisfied. Verse 9, Jesus replied and said, Have I been with you, all of you, for so long a time? And you do not recognize and know me yet, Philip? Anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say then, show us the Father? Verse 10. Verse 10. You do not believe that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me and that I am dwelling and the Father is in me. What I am telling you, I do not say on my own authority and on my own account. But the Father who lives continuously in me does his work, his own miracles and deed. Believe me that I am in the Father and that the Father is in me. Or else, believe me for the very works themselves. If not, believe at least for this work that I do in the name of the Father and be convinced. May God bless us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Once again, we are most sincerely grateful for honoring us with your visitation. Say, may God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So next on our item, we are at number 11. We want to take the biography of our beloved mother, Dickiness Rebecca Ustasugi Osagbabu, as we invite Reverend Dr. David Osagbabu. Shall we put our hands together? <laughs> Deaconess Rebecca Osasugi Osemegi Osagbovo was born February 14th, 1943, into the Akinyombari family in Ogbe. Her parents were Pa Iguma Uzame and Mrs. Osayi Iguma who were successful in their respective field of farming and business. In 1957, Deaconess Rebecca Osasugi graduated from UNA with Standard 6 in Benin City. She began her career as a teacher at UNA Primary School, later renamed Ase Primary School in Idumunga, in Uhuonde local government area of Edo State. Following that, she worked at the Cooperative Society Limited in Benin City from 1961 in Benin City before becoming a successful businesswoman in buying and selling. Despite being born into a family with non-Christian beliefs, particularly with her father being an atheist, Rebecca embraced Christianity at St. Joseph Choosing Church of God International, where she was baptized by immersion. She was married to the late Apostle William of Seven Gyosagbavu, and together, they had six biological children as well as many 
foster and spiritual children. Her dedication to serving the Lord continued until their final moment. Throughout her life, the Kones Rebecca Usasogie became a woman of great respect and honor, serving as a role model for younger women in her commitment to honoring Christ and her husband. Like Mama Sarah, she referred to her husband as my Lord, a name that became familiar among the Christ Miracle Church of God family. Her dedication and commitment were evident in her role as mother in Israel at Christ Miracle Church of God International Incorporated, known as Mommy Gio, a woman of prayer and unwavering faith in Christ. She was deeply devoted to God, honoring him and serving humanity to the best of her ability. Deaconess Rebecca Usasogie was renowned for her strong work ethics, discipline, counseling abilities, and genuine love for people. Throughout her life, she consistently upheld values of self-worth and integrity. Her legacy lives on through her six children, 20 grandchildren, two great-grandchildren, two brothers, and a sister, including in-laws, nephews, niece, and all who had the privilege of knowing her. As she depart this, as she depart from this earthly existence, it brings comfort to know that she is now resting in a better place, knowing having life, having lived a life that others should strive to emulate. May her soul rest in perfect peace. Shall we dance together for thou excellent biography of our beloved mother? So let us quickly take our offering. Then after we invite the whole square to give us their ministration. Of free time, please put your hands in your pockets. Shall we lift those hands up? Shall we rise? Lift those hands up with your offering. We invite Pastor Joshua as he be to come and bless this seat for us. Lift your offering up to heaven. Father, we thank you for the offerings in our hands. Thank you, Lord. Lord, accept us and our offerings as we give. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord, our Father, for every giver is blessed. Because your word says it's more blessed to give than to receive. Amen. To you alone be the glory. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. That is Apostle Joshua and the
So let's sit down quietly as we listen to the host choir has given us their very special number. So let's take a break from this. Shall we dance together for Christ for the good church of God choir as they give us their number?
Once again, you are welcome to this great, wonderful ceremony. As you honor us, God will not fail you. In Jesus' name. Please want to quickly take tribute, three tributes. Thereafter, we go to exhortation. Tributes. Just three tributes. Tributes. Where is baby Osas? Tribute. Where is Bibi Society? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the life of my grandma. Though, she, yeah, I would say she's my grandma because she was, she was a sister to my grandma. So she was the one I actually knew. So whenever we come to Benin, I remember the day he will always uh, bring all the children together, both the neighbor's children, uh, family, friends. So at the time, I never knew those that were my cousins. I thought everybody was my cousin. I learned something about uh, my EA. She taught me, I learned the, the spirit of uh, bringing to, uh, families together that was bonding, and which has really helped me in my marriage today. So that is one of the things. That's having unconditional love for people, no matter who they are, whether rich, whether poor, no matter who they are, sick or someone healthy, there's a way I mingle with them. And I learned that from EA. And I, I've never for once forgotten that. If there's anything that I've learned from my EA, is the spirit of love. And also, she brought, she's one of those that brought up uh, uh, spirituality to the family. And today, I will always remember her for good because my mother stayed with her. My, mother's, my mother was a, mo uh, a mother to all, even in worry. She was a sister to people, and I learned that because there was a trace from EA to my mother and from my mother to me. So every one of us here, there is something I would like us to know. No matter who you are, whether you are rich, whether you are average, there is one thing we must never forget. Whatever we do on earth, it is after our death will be remembered for. So I'm so proud of being a family to, this, uh, to the Igumans. And I will never forget my EA. And I pray that God will help me to live even a better life than my EA. And I will serve God forever. And that is my priority. Thank you. Hallelujah. We'll take one more. Baby Osaiti. Tribute. Can you see take tribute? Praise the Lord. This is a tribute to my mother. As I will fondly call her, Ian Iahio, Ian Iaga, Ian Iahio. It's not because she owned the entire world, but because she does so many things in a wonderful way that sometimes. I will ask her, say, where are you getting all this energy from? Mama, I want to say God bless you and thank you. For the times we ever had to share, when we had to quarrel and to make comments, where we had to play, where we had to make plans and to pray together, God Almighty bless you. I want to also give this tribute to her because she made me understand what it takes to care. What it takes to be sold out and poured out to people. Because she said in her own word, that is the main essence for living. And I've come to really understand that the few years I've lived, that is not in the possession of things that you own, but in the ability to impart lives and see them be transformed gloriously. Mama, I said thank you. Thank you for all the prayers. 
I look around today and I see everyone gathered here for days. There is no one that has ever come up and say, ah, this woman has been an hostile person. We all come with one level or the other, different shades of testimonies of how good you've been and how long your hands has touched us. Mama, I pray that the same God's grace that has kept you will keep us and make us know God much more. And until we see and to part no more in God's presence, I say rest on in glory. God bless you so much. And I am proud that you are my mother. Love you. Hallelujah. You will say, let's continue to take tribute. Today will not be enough for us to do that. But one thing I must remember in you for the passion, the love she has for the work of God is second to know. Here, I also learned another thing from you that no matter the trials, no matter the temptation, don't surrender. Don't surrender. Be courageous. I pray, Jehovah God, may our soul rest in perfect peace. Hallelujah. So without wasting much time, the time has come to eat from the Lord's table. Shall we arise as we will give honor to whom honor is due? Join me as we welcome Reverend Ajakaye Kenneth Ajakaye as he gives us the very latest from the throne of grace. Praise the Lord. Amen. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we thank you for this privilege to gather in your presence. Lord, we ask that you speak to us and encourage us to accept your word and work with it in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. If you check your program, you will discover it was written short exhortation, not long exhortation. They carefully wrote their short exhortation. Praise the Lord. I will be sharing a few things with us that our mama will want us to hear before she will finally exit planet Earth completely. Very many of us in our time try to calculate how to serve God. But I want to remind us that death is not about sickness. Death is not about accident. Death is not about that witch, that wizard. Death is not about that attack. Death actually came as a result of God's instruction. That was refused. That was disobeyed. Praise Master Jesus. In Genesis chapter 2, God carefully gave instruction to Adam that all that you see in this garden, eat, freely eat. But the one that is at the center now of <laughs> don't eat. And God specifically said, the day you eat, that day you will die. Praise the Lord. We remember in Genesis chapter 3 verse 6, scripture says that Eve carefully look at that same tree that God said we should not eat. And she loved the fruit and she decided to eat. That is what brought death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now what do we not do about this death? In that same Genesis chapter 3, if you read verse 15, you discover that God started proof, you know, providing solution. Also trying to solve the problem that the wicked one has introduced to planet Earth by promising that the seed of the woman will actually bruise the head of the devil. 
Praise Master Jesus. In Isaiah 9, 6, we're told that unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Jesus came to rescue you and I. And we must understand, the only way we can avoid the soon coming doom is to accept Jesus as Lord and as our Savior. Our mother has finished her assignment. Our mother has contributed her quota. We live in the same area at a time. Our mommy will leave the house around 5, 5.30, and declaring the counsel of God. And I could remember some persons believing that she was disturbing the environment. But she was playing her part. She was actively involved in the work of soul winning. And because she knew that the time was short, she gave every part of her being to that work. And I saw her do it joyously. Do it enthusiastically. Do it in a hurry. Because she knew she did not have all the time. Praise the Lord. And because she's also aware that a man that is born of a woman has few days on planet Earth. Job 14 verse 1. And but those few days are full of trouble. And the only way to escape this trouble is to know that man, Jesus. Because Jesus is the way to peace. Jesus is the way to joy. Jesus is the way to safety. Jesus is the way to the eternal kingdom. And any of us that will choose to believe him, apart from what men are doing on planet Earth, you too will do greater than what they are doing. Those of them that believe, they can do it outside God. You that believe in God, you can do it better than what they do. You can do it better than them. Praise Master Jesus. Like we read in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, we saw that we are not here to sorrow. We are here celebrating a legend, celebrating, you know, a woman that knew her creator. We are here to celebrate success. We are here to celebrate breakthrough. We are here to celebrate our testimonies. We are not here to mourn. We don't mourn. We are not mourning. Because we know our mother, our grandmother, our sister, our mother is not dead. True of us. She's not dead. She's only asleep. Like we read just now in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. We are told that when the trumpet sound, those that died in the Lord will rise first. Hello? Our mommy will rise. I said our mommy will rise again. In Matthew 27, we saw some of the things that manifested when Jesus was leaving the earth. Because he told us just as Jonah was in the belly of the fish, in the river. So, so we spent three days in the belly of the earth. And on the third day he rose. As he was leaving the earth, leaving this ground, souls that were sent that believed in what he came for, they all rose with him. That was a demonstration of what will happen when the trumpet will sound. So paraventure you are here. You don't know that man called Jesus. You are making a very great mistake. I know very many of us are in church. I know we go to church. But mommy asked me to tell you. Do you have Jesus? 1 John chapter 5 verse 12. Scripture says as many that have Jesus, they have life. You can have title, you don't have Jesus. You can be known by planet Earth. You must have received different titles, decrees. If you don't know Jesus, you are not saved, you are not born again. I tell you, there's a great problem. Praise Master Jesus. Just like many of us read in the scripture, and it became our memory verse. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world, including that native daughter now, including that adulterer now, including that armed robber, that kidnapper, including that thief. God loves them. For God so loved the world. He permitted Jesus to die for all of us. If you have suddenly forgotten, the man at the cross told Jesus 
Save yourself now. Opportunity was created for them to be saved. One said, save yourself now. And the other challenged and said, come, we suffer for what we have done. This man did nothing. And suddenly, the revelation of God burst in his spirit. He knew that it was just a few seconds to eternal damnation, eternal destruction. You know what he did? Because of that singular statement, revelation burst. And he said, Jesus, when you get there, remember me. Can I shock you? Jesus immediately said, not later, now. If you are here, you have not known Jesus. Please don't pretend. Because tomorrow might be too late. The last message Mama Rebecca wants to share with you is what you are hearing now. And after now, her body will leave planet Earth completely. You are not permitted to see that body again. Till we meet in glory. Because I know the mortal body is already ahead to take in mortal body. The corrupted body is already somewhere, already enjoying incorruptible body. The body that will not know sin, the body that will not know destruction, the body that will not know hair. That is the body she's already putting on. And that's the reason why you and I must understand. The last word that she has to drop in your spirit is a question. Do you have Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Are you born again? Have you a relationship with your master? Do you just go to church? Have you accepted the title so that men can celebrate you? And no angel know your name. Find out from yourself. And don't give me an answer. Just find out within you. Examine yourself. Because I will read one scripture. Though it's difficult for us to believe, some of us are thinking, once I have vehicles, I have buildings, I have children, I have money. In fact, my account is smelling. We believe that we have made it. It's not true. What shall it profit you if you get the entire world and lose your soul? Our mama take her time to accept the truth. And today, testimonies are abiding. And you can see the champions that she has produced for planet Earth. When the trumpet sound, will you be found wanting? When the trumpet just sound now, why I am still sharing? Will I be able to see the master coming? Or I will be hiding? So Mama Rebecca asked me to ask you, if the trumpet sound now, will you make it? Listen, you don't enter heaven with title. It's not your building. It's not your car. It's not that name that everybody know you for. Are you a child of God? Have you given your life to Jesus? Have you decided to follow genuinely? Not just in church. We must be in Christ. If any man be in Christ, very many are in church. Very many are in church. But I tell you in our time, only just few apparently maintaining a relationship with Jesus. Just few apparently sitting with him. May grace come upon you to sit with him. Hello, church. I say may grace come upon you to sit with Jesus. Because if we are sitting with him, when the top person will not be found wanting. Because we just follow. Praise Master Jesus. Because where we read from 1st and 4 says that we that are still alive, what happened? We we'll fly away. We we'll develop supernatural wings. And we we'll just take off. Many of us saw the drum just now. We we're just flying on the air. That's how we are going to take off. But I want to read scripture. Those of us that will believe Jesus and follow Jesus. 1st Corinthians chapter 15. I will read this. And I will drop the mic. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord who help me tell somebody there is hope. Help me tell somebody there is hope. I want to read from verse 53. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. And our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. Then, when our dying bodies have been transformed into bodies that will never die, the scripture will be fulfilled. Death is swallowed up in victory. What we see now we call death is just a change of address. He said, oh death, we will laugh at death. Where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? For sin is the sting that results in death. 
and the Lord gives sin his power. 57. But thank God he gave us victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus. Our mama is not dead. Grace is be given. She's already enjoying the bosom of the father. Look at it. So, my dear brothers and sisters, be strong and immovable. Always walk enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. I'm reading from New Living Translation. But adventure you don't know. All of us are sowing seeds today. What seeds are you sowing? Is this seed of life? Is this seed that will survive? Or grand? Is it the seed that can be harvested? Or the seed that will be burnt with fire? Can I talk to you? Jesus is coming back again. When he comes, where will he find you? Will he find you in faith? Will he find you just making money and not making Jesus? Will he find you prepared for him? Or will he find you about to start? I pray for you now. That when the trumpet will sound, you will be prepared in the name of Jesus. I say again, when the trumpet will sound, you will be ready in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we rise up? Can you sing this song with me? Blessed. We will sing hallelujah. We will sing Hosanna. We will sing hallelujah on the resurrection day. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing Hosanna. I will sing hallelujah on the resurrection day. Praise the living God. While we remain standing, we want to invite all the children of Ye to come forward here and we invite the minister to circle around there. This prayer will be led by Reverend Dr. Erikifi to pray for the family. <laughs> Children, come this way. Uh, all the ministers come forward. Let's make a wall of protection around there. And this prayer will be led by Reverend Dr. Erikifi. God bless you, sir. We all come forward for the prayers if you are concerned. Ministers, please surround all of them. Surround them. Don't stay behind. Just surround them. Thank you. Thank you. Some of you ministers should come this way. Bishop. Uh -huh. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We give you glory that befits you. You are the only true God that is not like you. Thank you, Lord God, for it please you to have blessed Mama with these children and grandchildren. She has left behind the legacy of the future in their lives. She's no more, but she's in them by the virtue she has left behind. Therefore, Lord, we commit them into your hands, spirit, soul, and body. Watch over them, guide them, direct them. Protect them. Uphold them. Father, we pray that the word of God will dwell richly in them. In their lives, past life will not be a reproach. Her works will not be mocked. Father, we pray that all through their soldier on it shall be counted of them that they have learned from their parents and they are living Christly life. We pray for you that the vacuum and a mother has left God will feel it for you sickness will not cut your life short 
The plans of the wicked will not hinder your destiny. God will watch over you in the spirit and physical. Your days on earth shall be full with joy and testimony. God will give you peace beyond measures. Your labors will not be in vain. Father, we pray that you will be a shield over them, a refuge and fortress. Baba, in all their journeys, be ahead of them and surround them all through the ways. We pray, O oh God, that they will always see you in the absence of their parents. Peace be with you. We use you as point of contact to the extended family that God will reign so and the name of the Lord shall be glorified. Thank you, Heavenly Father. May today be a living testimony of a new beginning in lives. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah. So let's quickly hear the announcement. After this moment, there will be retirement of our beloved mother, Dickiness, Rebecca of Sasugi of St. Nicholas Bible. On Saturday, there will be a social dance at St. Rita along St. Saviour Road. On Saturday, there will be a social dance at St. Rita along St. Saviour Road. While the Thanksgiving of this service will take place at the Headquarter Church in Mubai. Please join us as the train move. God bless you all in Jesus' name. So, God. Our God is good. We have our father in the house, the King Charles, to give vote of thanks for this ceremony. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. To give God thanks for what he has done for us today. I will say I'm very grateful for today's weather. God has been so faithful for taking care of every member of the family. And as many that left their respective homes, living everything they are doing, and they come to join us to celebrate Jesus in the life of our lovely mother. I call her my fine girl because she's so lovely to me. But I'm thanking God for your lives, and I pray that the Lord God, that you, 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 you join us to come and praise his name in life of mother, that whatever place you have, that the Lord will do it for you in Jesus' name. And I also thank God whatever pains you in heart. For the love of our mother, that you let everything you're doing, you come to join the children to thank God for her life. Whatever pains you had, that the Lord God will do it for you in Jesus' name. And I'm so grateful to you, to every man, to every woman, to every boy, to every girl, that let everything that they are doing, they come to join us to celebrate our mother. I pray the, month, the year that our mother lives, you're going to live longer in Jesus' name. Everything, whatsoever you need, you need children, you need money, you need whatsoever. I will pray that the Lord God, on behalf of our family, we say the Lord God should open the windows of heavens and pour whatsoever so you want upon you in Jesus' name. We appreciate you all. The greatest of all, we thank Almighty God, the King of glory, the Prince of peace and the Lord of Lord, the Almighty God, the Omnipotent God, the Almighty Father, the King of glory. We say may his name be praised. We say may his name be exalted. We say, God Almighty, we are grateful. We appreciate you. For there is no God like you. And there is none that can take your place in our life. In Jesus' name. 
we appreciate you all. May the Lord God that bring you here take you home peacefully and guard everything that concerns you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for the kitchas. Hallelujah. Once again, we want to say thank you. Please don't go. Uh, the refreshment is going around now. The moment you will see yours will get to you. We want to say once again thank you for honoring us with your invitation. May God Almighty help and guide you for doing this one to us. As you go to your respective destination, Jehovah God will protect you. In the name of Jesus.
as we share the grace. Can we all rise? The grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God, goodness, and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Everybody shall say amen. amen. Go in peace.